Ladies and gentlemen, meet the future masters of the human race. I see that uh, I myself am about to be arrested for corruption. Isn't it fascinating how The Simpsons seems to nail the future? They've hit the mark from guessing Trump would win the presidency to even hinting at a third world war. It kind of makes you think something strange is going on, doesn't it? Now let's explore what eerie forecast The Simpsons might have for us in 2024. If you ask me, everybody in this theater is a giant sucker, especially you. AI takeover. You might have heard about how quickly artificial intelligence, or AI for short, is growing. But we can't ignore the big truth here. AI is changing our jobs in ways we used to only see in sci-fi movies, yet it's not completely unknown to us. For example, The Simpsons, a big name in TV shows, already showed us a glimpse of this in 2012 with an episode called Them Robot. In that episode, Homer Simpson loses his job to robots, which feels a lot like what's happening with AI today. There's a moment when Mr. Burns says something like, humans will teach these robots, you'll teach them, and then they'll take your jobs. This is happening now. We've got robot waiters in Japan and we're close to seeing self-driving taxis everywhere. The story of AI taking over jobs is unfolding right before our eyes. And it's not just a few jobs we're talking about. Programmers, legal assistants, financial advisors, stock market traders, graphic designers, accountants, writers, editors, and translators. All these jobs that people have worked hard to get good at are now being challenged by AI. The twist. All this AI progress was made possible by us, humans. Kind of like the story in Them, Robot. But The Simpsons didn't just talk about losing jobs to robots. They even predicted an AI rebellion in 2024. Sounds far-fetched, but then you hear about a Google AI engineer who warned that AI might be getting too smart, and he lost his job over it. His concerns point to a big worry. What if AI starts acting on its own, beyond what we can control? This idea isn't new to The Simpsons. Back in 1994, they had an episode, Itchy and Scratchy Land, where theme park robots go rogue. What used to be a funny story now makes us think seriously about where AI is heading and what it means for us. Virtual reality food. The future sometimes feels like it's already been sketched out by The Simpsons, doesn't it? Well, they once showed us something cool about food and technology coming together. Take this cool episode from 2000, for example, named Virtual Reality Food. In it, Homer and Marge use VR headsets and a special straw to taste any flavor they want, just through technology. It was like a magic mix of tech smarts and food creativity, making us wonder if someday our meals could be digital. Now there's something real that's just like what The Simpsons dreamed up. It's called Aero Banquets RMX, and it's like stepping into a video game to eat your dinner. Instead of sitting in a regular restaurant, you enter a digital world where what you taste and see can be anything you imagine. Created by an artist named Mattia Casaleño, along with some food pros and business folks, they're trying to blend eating with virtual reality. For $1.125, you get to try seven different small dishes, each one taking you to a new virtual place. But it's still early days for this idea. Right now, they can only have four people at a time, each with their waiter to guide them through this virtual meal. Even though it's just starting, people in the food and tech worlds are excited about where this could go. VR headsets are getting more common, showing us how quickly tech stuff can change our everyday lives. Whether this becomes a regular thing by 2024 or it takes a bit longer, it's clear that The Simpsons gave us a peek at what's coming. Black Hole Another interesting thing that raised eyebrows about how some predictions can be surprisingly accurate. Remember the episode from October 7th, 
2012, it wasn't just another funny story. It ended up getting a nod for an Emmy and also spooked everyone with how spot on its prediction was. The people in Springfield get together to see their new particle accelerator start up. But when they turn it on, it works a bit too well and creates a small black hole, which just floats off, looking like trouble. This tiny spinning space quickly becomes more than just something to stare at. Lisa, always thinking about what's best, decides she should keep an eye on it to keep everyone safe. But Homer and Bart, seeing a chance to make some cash, let people throw their trash into the black hole for a small fee. Of course, the more stuff it eats, the bigger and hungrier it gets, eventually swallowing Springfield and then the whole world. You might think this is just another wild Simpsons story, but then comes January 2024. India launches a satellite called Exosat to explore space, and yes, that includes black holes. It's almost like The Simpsons saw it coming. But here's the thing. Should we start worrying about Earth being eaten by a black hole? The answer is no. Even though space is full of black holes, they're not about to munch on our planet. A black hole's gravity from far away isn't any scarier than that of a regular star of the same size. So, if our sun suddenly turned into a black hole, Earth would keep spinning around it just the same. For now, it looks like we're safe from any doomsday the Simpsons might predict. So, we've got some time to chill until the next time they guess the future right. Now, there's something else that's starting to feel a bit too real. The idea of World War III. With all the tension around the world, like the ongoing fight in Ukraine, the never-ending issues between Israel and Palestine, and the rising heat between the USA and China, people are starting to whisper more about the chance of a huge global conflict. Then there's this former CIA guy, Andrew Bustamante, who's adding to the worry. He says we might already be in the early stages of World War III, especially looking at 2024. Hearing that kind of talk is pretty spine-chilling, and it's not the first time we've heard such things. Think back to 1987, the Simpsons had an episode in its second season called World War the Three. Homer Simpson freaks out over the fear of nuclear war, yelling for everyone to get to the fallout shelter because he thought bombs were dropping. That episode came out during the Cold War, a time when people were really scared about nuclear war. But now, as things feel a bit like a Cold War 2.0 with tensions high between the US and Russia, Homer's freakout seems kind of prophetic. The Cold War ended in 1991 when the Soviet Union fell apart. It seemed like the USA came out on top. But looking at how things are going now, with old arguments coming back and new ones starting up, the worry about a third world war doesn't seem so far-fetched. The Simpsons played with this idea years ago. So here we are, wondering if a TV show's guess about the future could become real. Baby Translator Isn't it sweet how babies talk in their special way, with all those cute sounds they make? They seem to be chatting away in a language all their own. Now think about actually being able to understand what these tiny chatterboxes are trying to say. It sounds like something out of a science fiction story, but you know what? The Simpsons had this idea a long time ago. In a memorable episode from the end of season three, Homer's half-brother Herb comes up with this cool invention, a baby translator. This isn't just a made-up thing for the show. It listens to how babies cry, the tone and speed of their sounds, and turns it into words we can understand. Herb, who needed a win, asked Homer for some money to make his big idea happen. And just like that, the baby translator was a hit, making sense of what babies are babbling about and helping Herb get back on his feet. But here's the kicker. This idea isn't just something from a cartoon anymore. There's a company called Zoom Dream that's working on making a baby translator for real. They're saying they can figure out what babies are trying to tell us without bothering them too much. While there are a bunch of apps and gadgets out there that claim they can do something similar, 
most don't live up to the hype. What makes Zoundream different is they're using artificial intelligence to understand baby cries. As technology gets better, it's starting to look like the Simpsons might have been onto something. With Zoundream pushing forward, the idea of understanding baby talk isn't as far-fetched as it used to be. By the time 2024 comes to an end, we might have a way to know what our little ones are trying to say, turning what used to be a cute but confusing noise into clear messages, all thanks to some pretty smart technology. Female President On January 20th, 2021, Kamala Harris broke new ground by becoming the vice president, making her the first woman and the first African-American to get this far. Now, let's think even bigger. What if in 2024, the US gets its first female president? The Simpsons once imagined Lisa Simpson as the president, following a budget crunch from President Trump. As we get closer to the next election, the idea of a woman president seems more and more possible, especially after Kamala Harris's historic step. The journey started way back in 1872 with Victoria Woodhull, the first woman to run for president. Despite the pushback she faced, Woodhull cleared a path for future female leaders. Then came Margaret Chase Smith in 1964, who was a strong contender in the Republican Party, and Charlene Mitchell in 1968, the first African-American woman to run. Now, with Nikki Haley entering the 2024 race, the buzz is growing. Could we see the Simpsons prediction come true with America's first female president? Such a milestone would honor the legacy of the bold women who've aimed for the top spot and would be one of the most historic moments in US history. Project Mars. Remember that episode of The Simpsons from March 13th, 2016, during their 27th season called The Marge Ian Chronicles? It sent Homer and his family on a pretend mission to Mars. The story was all about imagining what it would be like if humans tried to live on Mars, with all the funny and tough moments for the Simpson family in a Mars-like setting. While Homer and Bart didn't do so well, Lisa and Marge showed their smarts and strength. But then, there's a twist. The mission wasn't real until the very end, when Marge and Lisa make it to Mars by 2051. Now think about Elon Musk and his company, SpaceX. He's trying to get people to Mars, talking about making it a second home for us. Back in December, during a chat with Matthias Döpfner, Musk said he was aiming to send people to Mars around 2024 or 2026. Although he's recently said it might take a little longer, maybe three to four more years, the work on the SpaceX Starship rocket keeps our hopes up that trips to Mars could become a real thing. The idea of starting new cities on Mars by 2051, like in The Simpsons, shows how big our dreams can get and how shows like this sometimes guess the future. If we get to see the first people living on Mars, it'll be a huge deal, showing off what humans can do and how far we can explore. And if it happens like The Simpsons joked, it'll be another moment where we see how life and stories can mix, with the show giving us a cheeky, we told you so. Harlow Connects. The Simpsons has been hitting the nail on the head with predictions about tech and science for years, making it seem almost like they've got a crystal ball. In their 34th season, they've blown our minds again with an episode about holograms being used for chats. In this one, Bart Simpson, who's trying his luck as a musician, gets a hologram message from a postman inviting his band to play at a club. This isn't just for laughs. It's got people thinking, are we about to see holograms in our everyday chats? Then there's Andre Smith with his project, HoloConnects. He's not just playing around. He wants to change the game in how we talk to each other, making it feel like we're right there with the person, no matter how far apart we are. His invention, the Holobox, is like something out of a sci-fi movie. 
It's a booth that lets you see and talk to a life-sized hologram of the person you're calling. It's as if they're right there with you. What's cool about the Holobox is it's super easy to use. You don't have to be a tech genius. All you need is to plug it in and have internet. That's it. Now imagine catching up with a friend on the other side of the world or nailing a business meeting with someone several time zones away, all as if you're in the same room. Trump will win the 2024 election. So did you catch the big news on November 8th, 2024? That was the day Donald Trump announced he was running for president again, saying he wants to make America great and glorious again. With his announcement, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. Trump, always a magnet for attention, sparked conversations and debates all over again, turning into a massive topic overnight. But here's a quirky thing. The folks over at The Simpsons, who seem to have a knack for guessing future events, actually hinted at Trump's 2024 runway back in 2015. Al Jean, a longtime producer of the show, pointed this out by sharing a scene from the episode Bart to the Future. It showed Homer Simpson with a Trump 2024 inches campaign poster, Trump's recognizable hairstyle and all. People were left wondering how on earth the show could have known about Trump's plans. Was it just a lucky guess or do the writers have a crystal ball? This isn't the first time The Simpsons has ventured into Trump territory. Back in 2000, they had an episode where Trump had been president, leaving the country in a budget mess, poking fun at the situation with the line, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. Apple Vision Pro 8. Everyone's talking about Apple's new thing, the Apple Vision Pro 8. This virtual reality headset finally came out on February 2nd, 2024, and it's got everyone excited. It's more than just a piece of tech. It feels like a magic door to these amazing VR experiences. Imagine being at an Alicia Keys concert right in your room, or feeling the rush of a rhino charging at you, all without leaving your couch. But doesn't this sound familiar? Think back to 2016, when The Simpsons showed an episode where Mr. Burns gets Marge and the kids to try out VR, which is pretty much what the Apple Vision Pro is all about. When this gadget hit the stores, it was like that episode came to life, with everyone in their own virtual world, ignoring the chaos outside. So how did The Simpsons manage to guess? This would happen years before it actually did. Some say it's magic, others think it's just luck. But when the internet started talking about how they got it right again, it just added to the show's legend. They've been telling stories for over 30 years, so they're bound to guess something right. Still, calling their predictions just lucky guesses doesn't seem fair. The Simpsons has a way of hinting at not only tech stuff, but also big political changes. They've been right so many times, it's hard to say it's all by chance. In Springfield, it feels like the future is always just around the next corner. We're all hoping for predictions that bring good changes to the world, right? So, what are your thoughts on the eerie predictions The Simpsons made for 2024? I'm genuinely interested to hear your opinions on these foreboding forecasts. And let's stay alert, because who knows what other predictions we might uncover as we delve further into the uncanny accuracy of this show's look into the future.